greetings everyone. Today is uh, March 25th, 2020. And this is Des. And this is Chris. Hey, we just wanted to let everybody know that uh, we're doing great. Things are going very well here for us and we just want to tell everybody don't be afraid. That's right. Yeah. Uh, so what we've been up to, we just, we went out today. We went out today and uh, we did our usual chores. We fed our birds and we took our trash out to the dump. Yep, didn't do anything out of the ordinary. Gorgeous day today too. Absolutely beautiful. Oh, it was beautiful to be out there. And uh, then after that we, uh, what did we do? <laughs> uh, we did go out and we bought some supplies for the house today and uh, we just enjoyed being out. Mm -hmm. And then we came home and we worked in the garden. And I, I made breakfast this morning for us. And uh, I got an orchid in the mail today. I'm going to do a separate video about that later. That was pretty cool. And uh, and we went out again. We went to Walmart. Yep. And we went to Lowe's. Got some other neat things. We got mm -hmm. some dirt for her plants and stuff today. And... Uh, and we've been working. You've been working. Yep. I've uh, been real busy at work. This life is just going on, despite all the craziness out there. We're just not participating in the madness. We're not participating in the panic. Just enjoying life and just chugging on. Yeah. We're not afraid of this virus. It's uh, really not that big of a deal. So don't let what the media is saying scare you, scare you because it's not true. It's no, not any worse than the regular flu, it's killed a lot more people, and it's really just affecting uh, the elderly, right? And Yeah, just uh, people with the compromised immune systems and the elderly, which is bad enough, but again, yeah, the, the normal annual flu season is still deadlier than this. Not to mention other diseases and driving. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, more people died from car wrecks today than from COVID-19, I'll tell you that much. Yeah, and cell phones. And, yeah, cell phone-related accident. Yeah, that's a yeah, <laughs> higher mortality rate. But there are worse things out there. It's just, uh, we think it's really stupid that the entire world is shutting down. Countries are closing borders. There is absolutely no need for this. And, uh, so, yeah, like Chris said, we just refuse to participate in it. We've just been living our lives normal. We're thankful that... We have our jobs, mm -hmm. and uh, if it if it's uh, not if it's not against the law, you know, keep your company open, keep working. You need to make money, you need to pay bills, you need to live your life. You can't be afraid. You can't be hiding in your house. And this is coming from an extreme introvert. <laughs> Before yeah. all this stuff started happening, I don't like people. I don't like going out. I don't like crowds. I get grumpy when there's lots of people in line ahead of me if I am forced to buy something because I don't like to go out and I don't like to shop like regular women do. But <laughs> I'm so glad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, but this is just ridiculous. And yeah, that's coming from two introverts, right, yes. babes? Oh, yeah. I do customer service work and some people are just cowering in their homes and don't want to shake hands or anything. And then there's couples that just, they're not phased by this at all. And I just have fun. I, I do work for them. And they just, they're not participating either. And it's like everything's normal until you try to go to a shopping mall or a restaurant. Oh, and that's the other thing. As a married couple, we don't care. We hold hands in public. And mm -hmm. No social distancing here. <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> I already did that with everybody else anyway. So for me, nothing much has changed mm -hmm. there. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. We're not afraid. We're, we're not afraid to get it or anything like that. If if it happens, and hey, then we will become immune to it. That'll be fine. Yeah. Get over it, just like a flu or a regular cold. Yeah. If you do catch it, just you know, take care of yourself. You'll get through it, and uh, you'll build up slight immunity to it. Next time it comes around, you'll be able to fight it off easier. Mm-hmm. And just don't change anything. Just do what you do. I mean, if you go use the toilet, you're supposed to wash your hands anyways. Mm-hmm. You know, if you fall down and you fall in the dirt, then you take a shower. Yeah. <laughs> and if you sweat, you change your clothes and you take a shower. Nothing should change. That should be happening anyways. Mm -hmm. You don't have to bathe a million times a day. <laughs> oh my goodness. And, <laughs> and quit hoarding toilet paper. That is so ridiculous. <laughs> I 
good grief. Yeah. But yeah, we've been blessed and we're very thankful to the Lord that we're still working and mm -hmm. that uh, things have been very good for us. Yeah, we wish it could be that good for everybody, too. Yeah. And there's yeah. a lot... Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Oh, there's a lot of good going on. You're just not hearing about it. People catch this and recover. You don't hear about that as much. And I think Trump's actually doing an awesome job. And oh, yes. Very proud of our president. I'm very proud of our president. He's handling this way better than Obama did back during the bird flu. So uh, I never a... thought I'd have a president in my lifetime that I would like more than Ronald Reagan. I've been shocked in that he's surpassed that. Mm-hmm. And I, I loved Reagan living through that. That was great, too. He's the perfect president for these times because he doesn't take crap. So. Mm -hmm. and, mm -hmm. uh, and, yeah, so um, we are Christians. And because yes. we have uh, the Holy Spirit and we've accepted Jesus Christ as our Savior, we have that peace that surpasses all understanding. Mm -hmm. We just don't worry about things that the world worries about that, other people and unbelievers worry about and care about because it to us it, it doesn't have a bearing in our life it's it's not important and and uh we know where we're heading we're on our way we're heaven bound we're not scared that's right and uh you know and, and you know if someone was like well what if you get the virus and you die well i'll get to see jesus i know where i'm going <laughs> sure i don't want to die but i had the comfort knowing that it went if or when i do mm -hmm. where we'll be Yes. Forever. Yes. Hopefully we get raptured and we won't have to die. That would be the, the ideal thing. Yes, uh, that would be wonderful. <laughs> Looking forward to that. But in the meantime, just doing what God says. Occupy the time. Just keep working. You keep plugging along. You don't sit there and cower and panic and wring your hands in fear. You just live your life. And Oh, great blessing. Know. I am so thankful we got two budgies now. Two lace mm -hmm. wings. Three budgies total. So that's been, life goes on. See, we're breeding our birds, we're enjoying our plants, we're living our life. That's what you gotta do. Just, you know, turn off the news. That stuff's bad for you. You wanna make, you wanna feel better? Yeah, don't watch the news for one week. You'll be amazed how much better you feel. Yeah. <laughs> yep, yep. I quit watching the news ages ago. It's just been annoying that now it's forcing its way into every stupid thing. Hmm. I don't like it when Best Buy sends me emails that aren't about televisions and deals. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, anyways, we just wanted to let you guys know that we're doing well, and we hope you're doing well. Don't get bored. There's so much to do. Life is wonderful. Make it wonderful. Make it amazing. Go out and live and do things. There's a whole entire world out there, you know. You, you live in America. Enjoy your freedom. Yes, greatest okay. country in the world. Greatest country in the world. That's We're right. The best. Amen. All right. Des. And Chris. Signing off. <laughs> Have fun, guys. <laughs> Bye.